Do you love or hate digital avatars? I was having a great conversation the other day with one of my interviews, and we were talking about how, at this point, probably if people are fairly active on social media, there's already enough information on a specific individual to be able to create a digital avatar of that person and have it say or do anything. Now, if somebody were to do that to me and do it for me and I wouldn't own them, then that would be a problem. And I think it's just as bad of a problem as taking somebody's work and, and using it without copyright. It's just as bad as something like that. Or it may be even worse because there's reputational damage around taking images of me and do something to me that I don't, I don't agree with. And I think we're very close to that. In fact, I think we're already there because I've been able to do that with my voice. In fact, on my sister podcast, AIDaily.us, I've instigated a new feature called Founders Comments where I go in there and I comment on some of the stories. And of course, it's what I've done is I've gone to Eleven Labs, which is our provider of voices. I, it provides the voices for both Ray Turing and Cassie Bishop, our newsreaders. And I've had it clone my voice. And I type in my comments and it clones my voice, which is ironically actually slower than me just recording it myself <laughs> and saying it into the microphone like I'm doing this. So the thing is, is that we're not far. In fact, we're already there. Somebody can take my image, the amount of social media that I've created and put it out there as a digital avatar of me, a digital twin of me. Now, if I were to be able to do that myself, take that digital avatar of myself and use it to unburden me from some tasks I don't want it to be. Maybe send it to meetings that I don't want to be at. Maybe send it to meetings that I don't necessarily need to be at, but my presence should be there and record all meetings and then maybe even provide some light responses to things. Maybe somebody looks at me in the corner and say, hey, Chris, how, how's that project going? I'd be able to, or my digital avatar would be able to respond. And maybe my digital avatar would actually be able to respond better than me because it might be able to remember some stuff that I couldn't remember. So if you ask me, this digital avatar stuff should come as soon as possible. But like I said, it should be protected. The only person who should be allowed to do something with the digital representation of me is myself. And this is one of the things that's what was what was happening with the writer's strike, with, that some actors and writers wanted, or the, the studios wanted to take the digital representations of some of these individuals and just do the, with them what they will. And some of the stars like Tom Cruise and 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 um, Tom Hanks, etc., they ha already have deals like this because they're celebrities and they have the power to do that. But if you ask me, that should be something that is embedded in every human being. We should do something about digital rights, digital representation rights. If something looks like me, talks like me, does things on my behalf, does things for me, it should be owned by me and I should have full control over that thing. That shouldn't stop me from doing these things. So are you an accelerator or a decelerator? Are you interested in making things better? or slowing things down because these things are too dangerous to be out there. It is pretty dangerous for these things to be out there. There's lots of deep fakes that are out there. In fact, one of the re that's one of the reasons why it's contributing to the way the internet is today, where we don't know what's going on. We don't know what's true and what isn't any longer. Let's continue the discussion in the Think Futurium. That's right, folks. We have this new place uh, on Telegram, a channel on Telegram called the Think Futurium. And if you want to send feedback to the show, if you want to send feedback to me, if you want to tell me what you think is interesting, maybe what we should be covering on the show, let me know in the Think Futurium or in the comments below. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future. Oh.